Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today I will teach you how to make a little neck knife. First off, we're gonna need some cardboard from a cereal box. We're gonna need your, your little, a whetstone from like the hardware store. I got mine from the grocery store, so yeah. You need some tape. You need a, a leather belt. You may need scissors. You're gonna need a clamp. Table, a small table, some sandpaper, make sure it's pretty smooth grit, some electrical tape, I don't know, but it, at least it works, but just make sure it's black or something, so it's just what we're going to cover the the thing holding the knife sheath with, trying to make it look cool, you're going to need enough of uh, some rope or paracord, make sure it can loop around your neck and there's still some, just quite, quite enough uh, rope. So you could fit your knife in, and you could tie a knot to hold it together. You're obviously going to need a butter knife, you're going to need a file, and you're going to need a hacksaw. Right, let's get started. To start off, we're going to make, we gotta make, make some measurements. So, I mean, you, you can use a sharpie, but I'm going to try to free hand this. I want it to be about, I want to cut off about this much. So that's just unnecessary length. Or you, you, yeah, I don't make that much. I'll work with that. Okay, let me just remember to do that. Yes, what? But fine. It's good. And I'm going to cut the blade to about, I think about right here. Make sure you're cutting from the blade part. So if you make a mistake, like the, like the hacksaw comes out. It doesn't ruin the spine and the blade. Okay, so I need to cut around right here. So if I keep doing this. Thank <laughs> you. 
done now what you're gonna do is fold it up with the file Ooh, that's hot. careful oh, I forgot it's kind of could be could be hot after all that cutting Get fat. Let's make the start making the bevels. I need the clamp. Shouldn't take too long because it's pretty small. Also, remember to submerge your your redstone for a little bit. on the other side. It's a little messy over here, unfortunately. side this is that Pretty good. 
right now, I gotta sharpen it. Fortunately, I should have put the stone a little earlier, the, the wet stone into the water a little earlier, but that's okay because it uh, stopped making bubbles, which, which means that you know most of the water came in anyways. So I don't think I needed to start with the coarse side. It's already pretty good. All right, so I'll just move the camera a little bit. A little warm, so it's a bit hot to the top to touch. I'm not gonna keep sharpening it. Keep sharpening it. Got some other sandpaper here. I'm just gonna just uh do it some sanding, give it a nice look. You don't have to, obviously, if you don't want to. There you go. Now gonna make some final sharpening. Alright, it's pretty good. Right now you can get some tape, the duct tape rather. And then I'm just gonna make a very simple handle wrap. Let's move the camera over here, so you can see. All right, start right here. Take slowly wrap it down. And if you use black, it's gonna look cooler, but I don't have that, so it's gonna be regular duct tape then. This is just gonna give it a little more grip, so you don't drop it when you when you're using it. Just kind of just roll it down. Try to keep a consistent angle, and then slowly increase your angle after after that. And then. Should go left. This. All right, now I just cut it. All right, just compress it just like that. And then cut the ends. Cut the end. Cut the axis rather. And then you just trim it a little bit. 